Right, gentlemen, let's crack on. We've got some front pages to take a look at. First and foremost is the Daily Mail, who have Unite Now or We Lose. Trust tells Tory right, but there's a picture of Eddie Morden there, who is currently the favourite, it seems, uh, if you add up all the, uh, all the minutiae. Morden also dominating the front page of the Daily Telegraph, with Morden seizes the momentum after first Tory ballot. There's a warning over water consumption there as well as the Met Office forecasts an extreme heat. The Independent also has Penny Morden. She surges into top two in leadership race and they have Toxic Johnson should be long gone from Angela Rayner, who is not happy that he is lingering. The Guardian have pressure on truss. That's an unwelcome image, isn't it? Pressure on truss <coughs> as Tory rivals steal march in leadership battle. And ex-Radio 1 DJ accused of sex with 14-year-old. We will be taking a look at that. Also, rage and relief as President flees Sri Lanka. Financial Times also have Penny Morton. Unusual to see them uh, in harmony with the rest of the newspapers. But their big story is that US inflation piles pressure on Fed for a big rate increase. And also, Trafigura sells stake in Putin-backed oil project to Hong Kong trading outfit. Not sure we'll be covering that one. The Daily Mirror... Have a picture of Mo Farah there um, and uh, talking about his relief as he is able to stay in the UK despite having been initially trafficked here. It would be a bit harsh to send him off to Rwanda, wouldn't it? And after everything he's achieved, we'll keep the medals. And uh, cost of living crisis. What cost of living crisis? The Daily Mirror uh, ridiculing the uh, the Tory leadership crisis and its apparent, uh, or rather, rather the, uh, the, the cost of living crisis and their ability to ignore it. The Daily Express has its hotting up. Mordant surges in race for number 10, but also, of course, a pun on the heat wave. And finally, the Daily Star with a story I do hope we get onto at the end of the night. Two pints of lager and a golden retriever, please, landlord. Apparently, a decent-sized hound is the best way to pick up a new partner in the pub. Those are the headlines. Those are the front pages. Let's have a look inside. <laughs> 